Revelation is an algorithmic reverb plugin that comes inside of Cubase. Now, an algorithmic reverb is a reverb that's been digitally created. And in the past, algorithmic reverbs weren't considered to be as good or natural as convolution reverbs. Algorithmic reverbs like Revelation have completely changed the opinions of experts on algorithmic reverbs. Not only do they sound incredibly natural in this day and age, they also use a lot less in terms of processing power, so you can have more instances of the plugin in your music production. The pristine early reflection controls are one of the reasons Revelation sounds so accurate. Over on the left hand side we can change things like the amount of time it takes before the reverb actually kicks into the source. Over on the right hand side we can change the mix in between the early response which are basically the first reflections of the reverb in the room through to the reverb tail itself. So these two faders right here are quite important in terms of defining the sound of the reverb itself. Just to the right of that we've got modulation so we can have pitch fluctuations over the top of the reverb, giving us an even more interesting sound. Another quite important section in Revelation is the early reflections. So over on the left hand side we've got the size parameter. So the higher the size, the more natural sounding the room will be. As we drop the size below 100, the room or the reverb gets compressed and that gives us the perception that we're in a smaller space. And then to the right of that, we can filter or attenuate low and high frequencies of the early reflections. So this whole section on the left hand side is really important. As we move over to the right hand side, we start moving into the tail parameters. Now, if I drop the ER or early response tail mix, then it doesn't really matter if I do anything over on the right hand side in terms of changing the tail parameters like delay and room size and you know, the time until I bring the mix of the tail back up. So once again it's always about finding this balance between the early response and the actual tail of the reverb itself. So the delay will delay the onset or the start of the actual reverb tail. The room size is fairly self-explanatory, that's the actual size of the room we're trying to simulate. And of course the time is basically the time of the tail, so we shorten that for a shorter tail. The shape parameter defines the attack of the reverb tail, so a lower setting, the faster the attack, higher setting, the slower the attack. The density parameter adjusts the amount of single reflections that we can hear in the sound. So the lower the value, the more single reflections. The higher, the more dense the reflections are in the overall characteristic of the sound. Another interesting feature of Revelation is the ability to change the high and the low time. So basically control the reverb time for high and low frequencies in the reverb tail. You can also set the crossover frequency between the low and the mid bands and the mid and the high bands of the reverb tail. In the early reflection mode drop down menu, you can switch in between none, hall, chamber, and studio. And now if you're just starting out, as always, Revelation comes packed full of high quality engineered presets. So you've always got a starting point to try and create some ambience in your music production. The mix fader will define the amount of plugin that's blended in with the overall sound. And of course you can change the level. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video on Revelation. Please give us the big thumbs up if you've learnt something and subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'm going to see you there.